The Lord be with you. That's pretty rubbish, really, isn't it? Let's be real about that. The Lord be with you. Almost said, the Lord be with you. And also with you. That's better. Isn't it great to gather together? And it's been a while since we've done this, isn't it? So it's good to be with you this morning. If you don't know who I am, my name is Max. I'm the rector here. This probably give it away, but uh, I'm the rector here. And it's great to welcome you to the harvest today. We're just going to sing a few hymns. We're going to say thank you to God for all that he does for us. And we're going to celebrate together this morning. It's good to have... Our uniform groups with us this morning. Welcome, guys. Good to see you all. Uh, it was the brownies that were asking me where Dave is. Now, if you don't know who Dave is, Dave is my dog. Um, and they reckon I could have brought him to church this morning, but that could have caused even more chaos than beavers do. So I decided not to. So. Um, I want to say thank you as well to, um, we've already got some donations in, we'll bring the donations up for the food bank, which is where our harvest is going this year, during one of the hymns, but we've already got some here from, from Fun Club, uh, where's Sally? I can't see Sally, she's hiding away, Sally's over there, Sally, Sally and the, the guys lead uh, Fun Club on a Thursday at 9am at St Nicholas's, uh, that's our toddler group, in case you hadn't worked out what Fun Club meant, that's our toddler group for to children, preschool children, and their parents to have a chat as well. So uh, you're always welcome to do that. And um, we've, uh, they've also uh, got a poster at the back, um, an autumn poster, uh, which they did, I think, at the, was it last week you did that one? This week. Um, and also, uh, later on in the service, we're going to be using something that Messy Church did uh, for our prayers. We'll come on to that. Messy Church is our once-a-month um, Messy Sunday, really. So again, at St. Nicholas's um, at 10.30 on the first Sunday of the month. Do take a card from the back if you, if you want to find out more about that. Other than that, lots going on. Susie, where's Susie? Yeah. Could you come? I'm going to be cheeky. Uh, this is so much fun to be together. I want a photo of it. So I'm going to get Susie to take a photo. If you don't want to be in a photo, just see me afterwards and I will make sure that you're not in it. But we need to look as though we're enjoying ourselves in church. <laughs> Can I do a couple? Do a couple. Ready? Che everyone cheer. Come on, look. Yay! <laughs> and again. Whoa! <laughs> That's a bit harsh. You want to go over here? Oh, I thought you wanted to be out of the picture. <laughs> and again, guys. Yes! <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you for for playing with that with me. Oh, I've got something important to do. I've got to read some bands of marriage. Some very important bands of marriage. Of course, they're all very important, aren't they? But this one, see if you can guess, if you don't know me, see if you can guess why these bands of marriage may be important. I'll ask one of the uniform group afterwards. I publish the bands of marriage between Paul John James Merriman of Cotner St. Cuthbert and Rebecca Louisa Cross of this parish. <laughs> I think the, it's already out the bag, isn't it? <laughs> this is for the third time of asking. If anyone knows any reason why they not may, may not marry in law, you should declare it now. <sighs> when we get home, I'm going to tell her that you did complain. Uh. Can we pray for Paul and Becky, shall we? Let's just pray for a moment for Paul and Becky. Thank you, Lord, for, for, for young love. Thank you for marriage and the way that you bless that. And we ask that you bless Paul and Becky in the next three weeks as they prepare for their marriage, but more that you would be with them for the rest of their life together. Amen. Amen. Fantastic. I did fret not to do it this morning because she wasn't here, so... But she did come to the other one, so that's good. Right, well, we're going to sing our first hymn. So we're going to play Who Can Get to Hymn 801 the Quickest. Put your hand up if you got to it. Some of you have cheated and we're already there. <laughs> got a brownie down here, is there? Brown oh, got a beaver over there, has got to it. Guys, guys over there, there. Hymn. We thought we'd, we'd never do this hymn at Harvest, so. Uh, we, we thought we might sing it. I don't know what you reckon. 
Um, if you want to, you can remain seated, but you're equally welcome to stand. Um, so let's all sing, we plough the fields and scatter as the uniform groups bring their flags. We do thank you, Lord, for all that you give us. We thank you for our uniform groups and the young people here. We ask for your blessing upon them. Amen. Amen. Do have a seat if you're standing. Fantastic. One of the things uh, we um, like to do as a church here is, be is to come before God and just say sorry for the mistakes that we make. Anyone? Made any mistakes this week? Or was it lost her hands? Going, Susie, I haven't, have I? I've been really good boy all week. Is that right? Yeah. So I think we know that's not true, don't we? We know that I, I, I like everyone else, makes mistakes. But one of the wonderful things about God is He sent Jesus so that actually we can be forgiven our mistakes. And when we come to Him and say sorry, we go away like we're washed clean again. So maybe let's just take a moment, just have a think about the last few weeks, anything you might have said harshly to someone, anything you might have thought, oh, that's not a very nice thought. And just maybe if it helps, close your eyes for a moment and we'll say sorry to God and receive our forgiveness.
Yeah. As I say these words, if you see the words in the dark type, the bold type, you can reply with those. God has blessed us, but still children go hungry. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God has blessed us, but still the poor cry out for justice. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. God has blessed us, but still we see inequality and oppression on earth. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And so may the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us our sins and mistakes, and assure us of his eternal love. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So we're now, we're, we're forgiven the mistakes that we made, and we can just go on worshipping our God and enjoying life, knowing that we are clean. If you've got that little nagging doubt in the back of your mind that says, oh, I'm not really forgiven, that's not God. God forgives you when you go to him. I wonder, as we're here thanking God for all that we're given today, I wonder what you might be thankful for. Is anyone willing to share what they are thankful for in their life? Any of the young guys want to share? And David, what are you thankful for, my friend? Yeah, that wouldn't be because one of them is with you, would it, David? <laughs> Lovely. Family, absolutely. I'm thankful for family. My son arrives in four hours' time from America, so I'm very thankful for that. So what else are we thankful for? Anyone else thankful? Nikki? Being here today with so many people. Being here today and managing to gather together. Tracy, you had your hand up. Friends, absolutely. We've got a guide over here who's going to tell us what she's thankful for. What are you thankful for, my friend? For love. For love. Oh, you've read my sermon. <laughs> Anyone else thank you thankful? Yeah. What are you thankful for? Food and family, absolutely. Anyone else? Well, we've got another. Friends and family. Peace. Peace. Absolutely. I'm thankful for Dave the dog. <laughs> what are you thankful for? Well, I heard Rascal. What's the first one called? Luna. Luna and Rascal, who happen to be cats. What are you thankful for? Shelter over here. Yeah, it's a home to live in. You've read my sermon as well. <laughs> Anyone else? What else are we thankful for? I've got some down the back here, I've been told. Fit and healthy. Fit and healthy. Life. Thankful for life, absolutely. Oh, I oh, sorry, I should have turned around and looked behind me, shouldn't I? Go on, what are you thankful for? Guide in. Brownie point over here. Oh, no, it can't be a brownie. It'll have to be a guide point, won't it? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Fantastic. Absolutely. We're thankful for lots of things, aren't we? And uh, we'll come on to that a bit more later on. But first of all, well, my friend from the Scouts is going to come and give us a reading. He's going to come up and read for us. You've got to stand in the posh pulpit up here. Look at this. Give him a round of applause as he comes up. <laughs> and, uh, which one you got? Why don't you read from your one? Because then you know what that one's like. Nice and loud. Go, go for it. The first reading is from 2 Corinthians. Chapter 9. Read a sting planter gets a sting crop. A lavish planter gets a lavish crop. I want each of you to take plenty of time to think it over and make up your own mind. What you will give that will protect you against sob -st stories and arm twisting. God loves it when the giver delights in the giving. God can pour on the blessings in astonishing ways so that you're ready for anything and everything more than just ready to do what needs to be needs to be done. As the Psalmist puts it, he throws caution into the winds, giving to the needy, reckless, abandoned his right, right living, right, living get right, right gives way, never run out, never wear out. This most generous God who gives send to, gives seed to the farmer that becomes bread for your meals is more than extravagant with you. He gives you something the something you can then give away, which grows into full form of life's robust in God. 
wealthy in every way so that you can be generous in every way, producing with us great praise to God. Carrying out social relief work involves far more than helping meet the bare needs for poor Christians. It also produces abandoned and abundant and bountiful. Thank, thanks. Thanksgiving to God, this relief offering is a proud to live at your very best, showing a graduate to God being openly, openly obedient to plain meaning of the message of Christian. You show your gratitude with your generous generous offering to your needy brothers and sisters and really towards anyone meanwhile moved by the extravagance of God in your lives. They'll respond by praying for you in passionate intercession for whatever you need. Thank God for this gift, his gift no language can praise it enough. This is the world of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give him a round of applause. Thank you very much. I was sat at my desk yesterday and I thought, who picked these readings for the scouts and the guides? Oh, I did. <laughs> so well done. I'm really impressed. I could never have read that at your age. So thank you for doing that for us. That's wonderful. We're going, to, um, we're going to sing our next hymn, which is one that we all know, isn't it? All Things Bright and Beautiful. We all know that one. Who's going to be the first to number 26 in our books? Susie's got her hand up. She's cheating. She knew it was coming. <laughs> We've got a guide over here. Guides are all there. Number 26. And during this time, if you have brought any food with you for the food bank, um, you can bring it up here, and um, where's Alec? Alec can give me a hand, can't he? Alec, would you give me a hand with this? And we can collect uh, the food. Um, so during, as we sing this, just bring it up. Try and be a bit, respect, bit respectful of the uh, distance between you. But let's sing All Things Bright and Beautiful.
do have a seat if you're standing. Guys, your generosity is amazing. Um, I just had a moment as you guys were bringing it up. Um, so, you know, sometimes the Holy Spirit just sort of brings you little nudges, doesn't, doesn't he? When you're walking around, you just get those little moments from God. And uh, I was just taken back to my childhood. And uh, my dad was ill for a lot of my childhood. And so um, we would have been the family that would have gone to the food bank. Now, there weren't food banks at the time, were there? But, uh, um, but I do remember those moments of gifts arriving in our house unexpectedly and how much help they were for our family. So uh, thank you so much for that. We'll ask God to just bless this wherever it goes now. We don't know where it goes from here, do we? We give out and we, we ask God to bless it. So let's just pray for a moment. Jesus, thank you for the generosity of your people here. May we continue to have generous hearts. And may wherever this food goes, be blessed. Amen. Thank you. So we're going to um, have our second reading now. We've got a troop of guides, I think, and we do in the second reading. Come on up, guys. I think you're going to have to stand up here for me and speak nice and loudly because I haven't got four microphones. So our second reading. Nice and loud, guys. Thanks be to God. Give them a round of applause. Well done, guys. I don't know about you. I would have been petrified of doing that at their age. I don't know about you. I'm petrified of doing it now, let alone then. So. I love that reading, and it was read so well, where they talked about the wildflowers uh, looking amazing and actually um, you know, us in our finery looking shabby compared to the flowers. And did you notice how well the uh, church was decorated on the way in? Yeah. That was, that was, uh, this just magically happens. It just happens in the background. I go, I go home one Sunday and I come back the next Sunday and uh, it's dressed up all like this. Of course, it doesn't magically happen. It's the ladies that do that for us. Uh, so thank you to the ladies or, or anyone who was involved. I know it wasn't just ladies in decorating the church. Um, just as we, before we carry on... Um, does anyone want a pound? I've got a pound. Does anyone want one? You want one? There you go. What, what, are, you, what are you going to do with that? Spend it on toys? That's good. Oh, you want a pound as well? Okay. Oh, dear. 
What are you going to do with that? You're going to give it to your guider. Why are you going to give it to your guider? Oh, I'll have another one. <laughs> Hands up. Anyone else want a pound? Some, well, they do over here. Right, okay. Oh, you read so well. So I'm definitely going to give you a pound. What are you going to do with that? Save it. Save it. Future account in it in the house. <laughs> Anyone else want a You want a pound? What are you going to do with that? Save it. Another saver there. Anyone else? Any adult want a pound? Just... <laughs> oh, there's, there's one at the back here. He spent a lot of time in Scotland, so I can imagine. There you go, David. What are you going to do with that? Give it to your wife. Oh. You better have another one. <laughs> Anyone else want a pound? The adults are a bit more withdrawn, aren't they? Have you noticed that? Tracy, what, what are you going to do with that? Buy chocolate, absolutely. Enjoy your chocolate, Tracy. I'm going to walk away from my wife. <laughs> Anyone else want a pound? You want a pound? What are you going to do with that? Chocolate. <laughs> I'm going to go over here to my... Oh, we've got a, a leader here. I better give the leader a pound. Do you? What are you going to... Seeds. Seeds? Flower seeds. Flower seeds, fantastic. And there were some guys over here. What are you going to do with the pound that I give you? Save it. Oh dear, there's lots of people. I'm going to, Susie, I'm sorry about this, but we're not eating much this month. <laughs> You're going to give it to your mum. Oh, have another one. <laughs> what are you going to do with the other one? Give it to, you can give both to your mum. You better have another one. <laughs> what are you going to do with that one? All of them. They're all going to your mum. Oh, man, you better have them as well, then. <laughs> Any, anyone else? You're going to donate it. What to? You've already had a pound. You better give that one. You better have another one for the charity, then, as well, aren't you? Yeah, you, you got one? You're going to... For your mum's... For your mum's... You, you want to give it to your mum for a birthday? Oh, man, hold on. <laughs> I've got some more. That's all right. We're okay. <laughs> your mum's birthday, there you go. What are you going to do? Save it up. Are you gonna, oh, you've already had one. You've had one already. You want to give it to the, the poor? There you go. You have all that. <laughs> She's going to give it to the poor, if you didn't hear, so that sort of emptied me out, didn't it, really? Oh, dear. I wonder who amongst you this morning, when you came to church, thought you might go home with more money than you came in with? <laughs> Not many, I would guess. But that's just how our relationship with God can be. We heard in our reading, didn't we? We heard our reading. We heard, what I'm trying to do here is to get you to relax. This is Jesus talking. One of the, not be so preoccupied with the getting, so you can respond to God's giving, and it said, people who don't know God and the way he works fuss over those things. But you know both God and how he works. Jesus is just saying, relax, guys. Relax. It's not all about the money. It's not all about the toys. He's basically saying, if you have clothes on your back, a roof over your head, like I heard someone say earlier on, if you have food in your bellies, and if you know that God loves you, you're doing okay. Isn't he? That's what he's saying. It's not about the computers, Max. It's not about the phones. It's not about the holidays or the fast cars. It's just about knowing that you are loved by God. But did you notice something else? As I was giving away the gifts this morning, did you notice what happened? Did anyone notice what, what was happening? I know you know, Susie. I'm not going to ask you. Who noticed that actually the people... Go on, Trace. The people that were giving it away to other people, I just felt I had to give more to. So if you chose to keep it and have the chocolate, enjoy the chocolate. Fantastic. But for those that chose to give it away, do give it away and bless other people. And for the young girl down here who got who emptied my wallet, <laughs> enjoy giving that to a charity 
that you know needs it. That's just like our relationship with God. He says, we, and we, again, we heard in the reading, you show your gratitude, we show our gratitude through the generous offerings to our needy brothers and sisters. That's what we've done this morning. God loves us so much, and our response to the love he has for us is to show love to others. That, that's all it means to follow Jesus. That's what it means to, to stop making the bad decisions, turn to make the good decisions, and our response to the fact that we're forgiven, as we were this morning, is to love other people. I need, I need, I need a... Come up here. I need you. Yes, you, my friend. You know me. Can you give me some muscles? Okay. Yeah, then. You've been working out, haven't you? You haven't. That's just natural. No, I know you run, don't you? You do run. When you first started running, was it easy? No. Now you've been running for a while, is it easier to run? It is. It's just like that, isn't it? The more muscles we build, the more we exercise or run or listen, the easier it is, the more we can run, the further we can run, the faster we can run, and the more we can lift. Give him a round of applause as he sits back down. Well, our heart, aren't our hearts just like that? Yeah. The more we give away, the bigger hearts we have. The more we love God and get love other people, the bigger our hearts grow, the more that God can use us where we are. You know, in school, with that person that turns up and doesn't have a friend, if you've helped that person once before, it's easier to help another person in the future, isn't it? You know that's good. At, at work, when things are going bad for someone and you just reach out to them, the bigger our heart gets the more that God can use it. And one of my favorite things about the fact that God uses us to love other people is, he says this, he says right at the back of uh, the Bible, he says, he says, when you give all that money to charity, it's like you're giving all that money to Jesus. He says, when you give your mum a present, because you could have kept that money, it's like you're giving a present to Jesus. When we love other people, Jesus says, it's like we're loving him. That's why we're so thankful, isn't it? That's what today is all about. Now, in a moment, we're going to sing a song that many of us know very well. But before we do that, I think uh, we, would, we could have a response for how thankful we are to God. So I'm going to give a bit of time as Roger comes up and prepares himself. It takes a while to tune this guitar. Um, you've got to find there are some pens and some corn, corn on, your, on your pews. Jesus said, we learned this in Messy Church last week, Jesus said, he gives us, he gives everyone the same thing. And some of it just falls on stony ground and dies. But some of it falls on good ground into good hearts and grows. And so this morning, we're going to say thank you for the things we're grateful for. And during our next hymn, if you want to, or I'd encourage you to, we're going to come up here and stick it on our corn board. So have a moment before we sing our song to think about what you're grateful for and write it down or draw a picture of it on the corn. Adults as well. You don't get away with this either. And if you haven't got a pen or you haven't got a corn, Jill's whizzing around with corn right now. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God
guys great job fantastic thank you Roger did you notice how I had my actions perfect not so much <laughs> not so much guys these prayers of thanks are amazing um, we're gonna use there's a there's a prayer on your sheet they call a collect which is just a special word for prayer um, and I know it's not in bold, but let's say this prayer together, shall we? It's the one that begins, Lord of all creation. And we're going to lift that as we lift all these prayers of thanks to God. So let's say together, Lord of creation, whose glory is around and within us, open our eyes to your wonders, that we may serve you with reverence and know your peace at our lives' end. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And if you ever find yourself not sure what to pray, of course, Jesus taught us a prayer that we can always pray. And so let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Well, we're just going to sing our last song in a moment, and do stay around for apple cake and juice and coffee and tea. Um, but just a few pieces of brief news before we finish. Um, Many of you may uh, have known Bernard Stanley, who was a real uh, figure in the, in the parish and, an, and a dear friend of the church. Unfortunately, he did uh, die this week. He did pass away this week. Um, and just to say that on the 27th of October, there will be um, a service here as we remember Bernard. Uh, his uh, funeral will be before that, but we're going to have a celebration and remembrance of his life here on the 27th of October. If you don't have a pen to hand or, and you want to be there, just make sure you, you get the notice sheet in the future and that will be on that as well. And uh, I've got a new boss. Did you know that? I mean, really, Jesus is my boss. We all know that and we all know I'm a Jesus man. But actually, we've got a new bishop now. You, you meant to go, ooh. Thank you, thank you. Um, Jonathan Frost, uh, the right reverend Jonathan Frost, um, was announced as the Portsmouth Bishop this week. Uh, he'll probably be joining us after January. Uh, we'll, we'll wait to hear confirmation from that. Um, but I've been sneaking around with some of my old friends who have been under his leadership before, and I think we've got a good one, guys. So I'll be praying for him and Christine, um, his wife, as they prepare to move from York, uh, which is a bit of a journey, isn't it? So uh, Now, we won't hold it against him, that he was a suffragan bishop in Southampton, okay? <laughs> he's a nice guy. And we went, I think he said he support, supported Fulham, but 
in my little knowledge of football, they're not really a challenge, are they? Is that right? <laughs> so we won't hold that against him either. So now I'll be praying for him as he as he looks to come to join us. Uh, but we're going to sing our praise to the Lord in a moment. So six, two, eight. You're already there. You're all right. You cheated. You got there beforehand. <laughs> no, you're there. Oh, the the guy. I think the guys over here have won. They've been consistently early every time. <laughs> As we sing our last hymn together, let's stand to sing praise to the Lord. Come on, let's lift our praises in this last verse together. Praise to... It's been great to celebrate Harvest with you. Um, after the last 18 months, I think we've all needed a bit of celebration, haven't we? So and again, it, it'd be great to catch up with you afterwards. Um, just to say, um, we're back here again at 9 a.m. next week and at 10.30 at St. Nicholas's. Um, there's children's groups at St. Nicholas's, um, if that's uh, something that would be of interest to you, and we, uh, we have a lot of fun in that as well. And if, like my brownie friend here, if you didn't think that God could be like this, if church could be like this, Jesus could be like this, then whether you are that high or that high, I would welcome a chat with you. If you want to have a cup of tea with me, I'll even let you buy me a pint. If you want, <laughs> then I'd happily talk to you about what really Jesus is all about and not perhaps what we think he's all about from the past. But as we go, let me pray a prayer of blessing over you. May God who clothes the lilies of the field and feeds the birds of the air, who leads the lambs to pasture and the deer to water, who multiplied loaves and fishes and changed water into wine. Lead us and feed us and change us to reflect the glory of our Creator now and through all eternity. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever.
Amen. Amen.